Hello everyone, I'm here today, finally, with my review of the SH Monster Arts MFS3 Type 3 Kiru, or Mecha Godzilla 3. Now here's a quick look at his box, really cool box, I really love the slash effect, it reminds me of Jurassic Park. Here's the side of the box, back, now they have changed their box art, now there's no more bio, and none of that, it's just promotion shots. Really nice look at the figure and some licensing crap. And yeah, that's the box. Oh, I'm gonna put the box aside. And now here is the figure itself. Now, Kiru, he is obviously the most awesome looking Mecha Godzilla. He is the third Mecha Godzilla and first appeared in the film Godzilla Against Mecha Godzilla in 2002. Made out of the bones of the original 54 Godzilla. The Japanese government gets together the most brilliant minds in Japan to construct the ultimate fighting machine. Otherwise known as Kiru. Now, enough with that. Let's start off with detail. We get some focus. Good detail. I mean, he's not super detailed like the other figures like Godzilla or Destroyer or whatever. So he's a robot, so he's going to have a simple scope. But parts that require detail, they have great detail, especially with the wiring. Ah, trying to get some focus, sorry about this. Seeing his leg. Let's get a good look at his face, open up his mouth. You can see some nice individually sculpted teeth. And inside his mouth are our little, ma our two Mazer cannons. See, he's like got his nice red, like, scar. I would say. Yeah. His spines, nicely done. And his tail is absolutely beautiful. And the bottom of his feet, good detail. Now, unfortunately, Kiru does not have as much die cast as I thought he was going to have. I mean, like, originally, I thought he was going to have die cast, at least a good amount in his chest and all. But the only amount of die cast he has are his feet and this one panel for his absolute zero cannon. But anyway, let's start up. Let's now move on to articulation. Let me adjust the camera. Now articulation, his head is on a ball joint, but I recommend you do not move it much because it will pop off and it will be a pain to put back on. And as you saw, his jaw can go up and down. Uh, he has a ball joint in his mid-neck, and another ball joint at the base of the neck. Good range of motion. His arms have a... His shoulders have like, are on a, like a double ball joint, and it can rotate 360 degrees with ease. Swing outward, double jointed elbow, rotates, and he has a ball hinged wrist. Now he does have a good range of motion for his torso but the only complaint I really have with this figure is this loose bit right here it does allow it to have a good range of motion but it's kind of a little bit of an annoyance sometimes and these boosters in the back right here can rotate and they're on the hinge <clears throat> now his legs could go forward and back outward a tiny bit outward a tiny bit cause like these little tubes right here, get some focus, little tubes right here, get in the way. They do move when the leg moves, so it gives it a nice realistic effect. Now he has bends at the knee, that much, and forward, not so much. He has a ball joint at the ankle, can go pivot up and down and sideways. So yeah, really, really good articulation with this figure. Get some focus. Now, let's move on to his many accessories. Let me just stand them up real quick. Now, first off, let's do with the easy one. You could remove his head, and you get two sets of eyes. You got this red one. I'm trying to get some focus. Ah, it won't focus. Whatever. You got the red one, the red visor, and you got another yellow another yellow visor. Try to get some 
focus. I'm trying to get some focus. Whatever, sorry about that, guys. And they attach really easily. Attach the red eyes. It looks really cool. Now for his backpack, you gotta remove some spines. You gotta, there you go, remove this one. Add this one's a little bit of a paint. There we go. Now, you gotta you're gonna attach his backpack. And here's his backpack. Really cool. Nice blue. Good detail with all these lines going around it. And the turrets are on the hinge so they go up and down. Now to attach them, there's like these two pegs and the slots on his back. We gotta line everything right. Plug, plug it in. There's his backpack. Now for the last bit of his accessories are his wrist cannons. Right here. Again, good detail. Try to get some focus. I won't focus. There we go. See? We got the maser cannons, blasters, whatever, and the blade and the hose. Now you're going to plug in this end of the hose into this little hole right here in the back. Plug it in there, a little hole in the back. You're just going to plug it in right like so. And peg it into his wrist. Can be a little bit of a pain. But you get it on there. Now for the other side. Put it in. There you go. And there you have it. Fully armed Kiru. Looks absolutely fantastic. Really nice. And oh, oh my god. I totally forgot about the articulation in the tail. Sorry about that, guys. See, his tail has an absolutely wonderful, wonderful range of motions. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Do all kinds of poses with his tail. Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah. See, he just looks so badass. And another thing I forgot. He has little boosters right here to come out. Come out on both sides. Just gotta get your nail in there. And they can extend outward as well as rotate. So yeah. And lastly is absolute zero cannon. Just gotta open up these panels. Yeah. There he is. I mean there it is, the absolute zero cannon. Pretty sweet. So yeah, now let's move, do a size comparison real quick. I'm gonna bring out my burning Godzilla. See, he's slightly taller than him. Bring out a six-inch Bandai Japan vinyl, my Final Wars Godzilla. Pretty sweet. And last, let me pull out. Strike Eureka. So they're about the same height. Kiru was about like you know, like a hair taller. But nonetheless, it looks pretty cool. See, I really like his silver metallic paint because it really makes him look like a robot, like it's made out of metal. Whereas this guy, he's just, has this weird bluish paint. I still like this figure. I still like the paint on this. But uh, I just like that he looks more like a robot. So yeah. Bring him over. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my review of the SH Monster Arts Kiru. I highly recommend him. He is, without a doubt, one of the best monster arts in the line. I just absolutely love him. Great detail, great articulation, awesome look. And it's, it's fucking Mechagodzilla 3. He is the most awesome Mechagodzilla. So yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye.